Wow. I love it. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're going to be talking about the STEM. So if you haven't heard about the STEM, they're a fairly new company. They were only founded in October of 2019, so less than a year ago. They are an online plant delivery service. Even though they're a fairly new company, the STEM is doing really, really great work around London. So the STEM's main goal is to provide quality plants and pots for affordable prices. So they are really accessible to all. They also want to be providing the best possible service they can. They try and make every experience with them a five star experience. And I mean, they're succeeding. On Google, they have five stars just flat out five stars, which is fantastic. I don't know very many companies that have five stars in anything. Other ways that they're providing quality service is that they've got a 30 day, no questions asked return policy. So if you've got a plant and it doesn't suit your home or you're just not vibing it or it's not up to your standards, you can return it within 30 days, no questions asked, and they'll take it back and all will be well. Hopefully you'll be able to get a new plant, but if not, that's also fine. Also, they provide free plant care long after you've bought the plant. So if you're having any issues, you can feel free to message them and they'll do their best to make sure that your plants are doing well. I mean, that's ideal. If you've got a problem, hit them up and they'll try and help. Another one of their really important goals is sustainability. And I think this one hits home for me the most because I try and be as sustainable as possible in today's day and age, which isn't always possible, but every step counts where you can. So they do all of their deliveries by hand in electric vehicles. They plant a tree for every purchase made from their website, which is fantastic. We need more trees on this planet. And they also use all paper packaging, which is fantastic because who wants plastic packaging? Not me. So I also wanted to review the quality of plants that the STEM is providing, not just tell you information about them. So I reached out and the STEM kindly gifted me two plants and a pot for me to take a look at and show you so you could see how good they are too. So without further ado, I will go get the plants. So here they are. I've got two plants right here. As you can see, they're both wrapped in paper. This really nice custom printed brown paper, which means it's definitely recyclable. Um, it's got this beautiful leaf print on it and paper tape as well with the stem printed on it. So obviously it's from the stem. I'm gonna open them for you guys. I'm gonna open the small one first, cause why not? Oh yeah, look at that beauty. So this is a Ficus Elastica Taniki, also known as a rubber plant. This guy is fantastic quality. You can see it's got a new leaf coming in there, which is super exciting. I love when you get a plant and it's got new leaves coming cause it means that they're healthy and happy and growing. Beautiful variegation on these leaves. I just love how the like cream color goes with the greens and sort of creates a sort of camo pattern. And the new growth comes out all pink, which is adorable. Who doesn't want pink plants? It's really good quality. It looks really healthy. They've come with moist soil, which is good. They're not too dried out, but it's not also not soaked. So I don't feel like I need to water it immediately, but I also don't feel like it's gonna die of root rot, which is good. Cause sometimes you get a plant in the mail and it's like super soggy wet. And when that happens, I'm afraid my plants are gonna die. So that's one of the good things about hand delivering plants. You don't have to soak them before you deliver them. It means that the plants don't have to go through the mail, which is fantastic. These weren't boxed up at all. James, the founder and CEO is doing all the deliveries at the moment. And he just drives around in his electric van, dropping plants off in people's houses. And he was super great to meet. We had a little conversation and talked about the stem and the company and all that. Yeah, the, the leaves look really good and healthy. There's no signs of pests in any of them. 
They don't have any sort of brown markation or anything like that, which is good because my one downstairs has quite a lot of brown spots in the minute, so whoops. But this is looking really good and healthy. I don't really see anything I can worry about in here. It's quite a large size pot. There's just one tree within it. James sent me this one because it is a really good affordable entry to plants. It's really easy to care for. It just needs bright indirect light watering when it's a little bit dry and it just looks beautiful in your home. It's a bit of a mini statement piece and can really brighten up any room. So yeah, such a beautiful plant and I'm super excited for this new leaf to unfurl. I mean, how could I not be excited for that? This bad boy is pretty reasonable price, any cheaper and it would probably be a lot smaller. So decently affordable and it looks great. So what's not to love? Next up we have this big guy. So. Wow, this is massive. Oh my God, I don't even know where to put it. Okay, also this beautiful little card fell out. It's just a card that says the stem on it. Really nice, it's got the website on the back and the Instagram, and it says that for every plant you buy, they will be planting a tree. Also, this card can be planted, which is pretty cool. So maybe I will throw this in my window box and see if it blooms, that'll be fun. Okay, also let's talk about this. Holy Jesus, this is massive. Like, oh my God. It's huge, look how big this leaf is. This is a Monstera Deliciosa, if you didn't know, also known as a Swiss cheese plant for its beautiful big holes in its leaves. And this one is massive. I mean, I know they like get really big and whatever, but this one is like way bigger than my last one, which if you watch my last video, you will know that I had to dispose of because of mosaic virus. And that one was, really small in comparison. So I think that one, its biggest leaf was probably about this size with one hole. One of them had like four holes or five holes and one of them had one hole. But like, what the heck? And it's got so many little baby leaves in there as well. A beautiful root system. You can see some aerial roots all up in there. I'm trying to climb out the pot. There's even a new leaf on the way, which is always exciting. I'm just, I'm amazed. It's just so big and beautiful and I love it. It doesn't look like there's any obvious signs of pests. There's like nothing in the soil or at the bases of the plants that look like pests at all. So I'm not really worried about that. The undersides of the leaves look nice. Nothing to really worry about, which is fantastic. So James sent me this for a couple of reasons. One, because it's a wide favorite. Monsteras are quite popular. It's a beautiful statement in any home. They're really easy to care for, and I mean, they're a really great intro into houseplants. So if you don't have a lot of houseplants or you think you've got a bit of a black thumb, a Monstera Deliciosa is a pretty easy introduction. Just kind of exists. Just bright indirect light, occasional misting, water every once in a while, and it's, living and thriving and creating these insane leaves. So, I mean, what's not to love really? Again, the soil is moist, but not wet, which is primo. On the website, they say this is 28 pounds, which I can totally see why. I got my last one for five and it didn't even have any holes in its leaves. So this is a massive step up for me. 28 pounds seems totally reasonable for that. The last thing that the stem very kindly gifted to me was this pot right here. Online, this is the Tavoli pot in gray. It's just a ceramic or cement or clay pot. Super, super soft. If any of you have seen my patch haul video, I think it's fairly similar to the really smooth one that I got for my Sansevieria Moonshine. It might even be the same brand. Super, super soft. I just wanna keep rubbing it because I'm one of them people that really likes soft things. But super smooth, a nice bevel, some foot pads on the bottom, which is great. So you don't scratch your countertops or your tables or bookshelves or whatever you're putting your plants on. This one is a 16 centimeter pot and they are normally 12 pounds, which is quite a great deal. 
I think the one at Patch was a bit more expensive. So if you're looking for something cheaper than that, head over to the stem. Gorgeous pots. They have an amazing pot selection. I really wanted quite a few of them from the website, but I can't spend all my money on pots, unfortunately. Yeah, they've got a really good selection of pots. They have a pretty decent selection of plants as well. Not the biggest variety. There are definitely websites that have a lot more, but I think that comes with a new business. They have to start somewhere and have like a core staple set of plants that are selling really well. They don't have that many rare ones either, which is totally fine. Not all plant sellers need to sell rare plants. Also, they would be a lot more expensive, so it kind of defeats the affordability goal and accessibility goal. So it makes sense why they don't have those. But I think all of that will come in time because it's such a new business. Gotta cut them some slack in that kind of thing. I think that's the only con that I found that they don't have the biggest set of variety. But I mean, that's okay. If they're selling really great plants that are staples, then do they really even need variety? So it's not that big of a con in my eyes. I wouldn't like knock them a star for that. So that's it. That's all you need to know about the stem. So I'll be sure to put their website down below in the description as well as their Instagram and links to the plants and pots that I got here today if you want to get these ones as well. I'll tell you now, amazing quality. And I'm not just saying that because they gifted me plants. Honestly, they're really beautiful. They're really solid plants. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I couldn't have picked anything better out of a store myself. So fantastic, really great job. I will definitely be a returning customer with STEM. So that's it, that's all from me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other places that you'd like me to do reviews on or hauls from or talk about or any other planty things that you'd like me to talk about and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! It's kind of hard to do with the holes in the leaves, isn't it? It's so big and beautiful. I'm so excited. It's gonna make my shelf look good again. Yay! Also, this paper is gorgeous. You could totally use this as wrapping paper if you wanted to reuse it instead of directly recycling it. Uh, I probably am because it is gorgeous.